And he's gonna lose a turn due to shutdown. He'll sink 100% of his heat. But he, he has to skip this turn, basically. Ow! Oh no! Ow! Someone might call this trouble. Welcome to the Defector Part 2. It's another convoy ambush in the Tundra. Four star difficulty, which means could either be a lighter assault lance or possibly two medium to medium heavy lances in support. Definitely don't like being outnumbered even farther. Sometimes the way it works is when you destroy the first two convoy, convoy vehicles, another way, another lance of mechs appears to reinforce. I really know I, that's the version of this I hate the most. Anyways, you've chosen to complete your contract to satisfy your obligation to House Karina. Good. On my honor, you will receive payment when Okada is dead and not a moment before. Okay, and um, the Exo's not too happy about this, and um, looks like we're not going to get paid very much. We don't get any C-bills, but we do get Salvage 2-9, which is what I mainly care about, is raking in some interesting Four Skull Salvage. And here is the team that we're sending in, a slightly different team. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. This is going to be basically a sort of um, buster team. Like, this team is designed to just get in there and mess things up with, like, huge damage combos. So we have our Marauder here, because, you know, we want to make sure we're making use of that Lance Command module that buffs up the entire team. The Warhammer is going in. It's cold, so it's I, I can sink heat easier. The Narc Beacon, though, is going to sync up with the Archer, which has our six... Uh, which has our four SRM sixes, which is going to be devastating if the grasshopper is especially able to knock some legs off so that we could set up some hips. So, Johnny Syme will be in the Marauder. I'm going in the Warhammer. Junior is going in the Archer, and Snaky Assassin is going in the Grasshopper. See you on the battlefield, boys! And welcome to the battlefield. Let's see what the dialogue says. Okay, Commander, we're here to take on yet another convoy, the correct convoy this time. I'd stake my reputation on it. You hear that, Meyer? If the XO steered us wrong again, we get to give him shit about it forever. Uh, try not to get too excited. Okada is on one of those transports, but we'll need to get eyes on them to determine which one. When contact is made, we'll wipe out the convoy and eliminate him once and for all. And I will be monitoring you to make sure you get the job done correctly this time. If your company gets in over its head, my lance is poised to relieve you. That won't be less necessary, Hironaka. The only thing we need to, you to do is stay out of our way. So be it, mercenary. Now get to work. Okay, so the way I mentioned that this could backfire on us is if we're too slow. But fortunately, the denial zone is right here, so we're right next to where we're blockading them. And over here, that means they're probably coming in this direction. Okay, it looks like I, I feel pretty confident about this now. So I will let you know when I see something worth talking about. Okay, we have contact with the enemy. It looks like they're going to be passing right over here. So we have this really nice area of cover for our, the mechs that want to kind of sit and shoot. And of course, we do have the grasshopper with us as well. So all is pretty good. Looks like we've got a 60... Uh, ooh, they brought an assault mech. That's good news, because I want assault mech components, and it hints that there will not be a second wave of mechs, which I also mechs, enjoy. Okay, the other thing that I was I, I was kind of counting on not backfiring on us is this idea that the enemy convoy is going to be of bigger vehicles. So I was kind of just hoping that they just would be too slow to really be able to do anything. That's, that's basically like, or too slow to kind of like make a run for it. So we're just going to run in here. We're going to spend a turn just kind of getting in position, to be honest. Damage minimal. And it'll give us a chance to see what we're dealing with. Everyone just kind of get into cover. That's kind of the goal here. Scanning. Ready to rock. And then we'll have uh, we'll have the grasshopper just kind of go straight through the straight through the front. Okay. Now we can take a look at what they've brought to battle, what they're using to escort. Breaching shot, which means it's a pretty skilled vehicle pilot. Hit him hard now. Not that it matters, given that we should be able to destroy the vehicles pretty easily. Okay. 
Pretty soon it'll be my turn. I get to go before their assault next. Ooh, what was that? That was a big cannon shell. Couldn't tell if that was an AC-20 or a 10. It sounded like an AC-20, though. Looks like they've got a bunch of medium mechs. Like, a lot of their guys are going before us. Okay, looks like I took a head hit. How bad is the head? Okay, it's fine. All right, so... A 50-ton mech, that might be a hunchback in the back there. I'm ready. But let's go ahead and get this show on the road. I want to shoot at something. Um, ooh, an LRM carrier. That needs to go ASAP. We got a Shrek PPC carrier, a Demolisher. Oh, that's what shot. The Centurion? Nope, it was an AC. Okay. Let's think. Okay, I gotta think. What do we want to shoot here? Target-rich environment. What do we begin shooting at? Manticore is not going to go down very quickly. Um, I believe what I'm going to do is split fire here. And I want to... I really wish I had a, a shot at that LRM carrier. LRM carriers are very powerful and thinly armored. How much armor... Okay, hold on a second. Let, let's check the armor of some of these targets. You... Manticore has 660 armor. Ooh, the Shrek PPC carrier only has 420 armor. And it's a really... Dangerous vehicle. I think we know exactly what we're shooting at. Okay. I'm going to narc him. Let's... That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Here's our shot. And I believe... I, I believe I'm going to... I, I believe I'm going to focus fire really bad here. So I'm going to go ahead and tank up. Now i got to reassign it. Okay. Bam. Wait, let's do it in reverse. There. And there. And then we can just switch that. Okay, here we go. Let her rip. Okay, we're through the armor somewhere. And the narc hit. That means we do have a good shot with... Uh, we, we have set him up for a good shot. He didn't fire. Interesting. Where armor is penetrated in the front. Oh, that, that vehicle is as good as dead. Okay, let's get the archer into combat. And we are just going to let this Battlemaster have it. Confirm. Oh, yes. 12 to 15 damage per hit. Stripped off three bars of armor on a on a uh, assault mech, no less. Is there a way I can actually get a shot on that? Oh, he's just he's a little too far away. Um, darn. Let's just. I am going to do a precision shot. I really want to try to knock this this thing out. It's a little bit, it's, it, it's not a, it's, it's, I'm not confident on this shot, but I really, I just want this thing to go if we can, if we can manage it. Oh, we got it. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Oh, that was so good. Okay. Let's jump in, because I, I want to get close enough to, maybe, can I, is, are, can I get close enough to shoot? Looks like the answer is no. I was hoping to be able to finish. So we made a mistake there. The 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 Shrek is going to well, it might not get another turn off, but unfortunately, I'm risking the Shrek getting another turn. Um crap. That's unfortunate. I'm going to let him move. We'll let the grasshopper make a move afterwards. Okay, Manticore moves. I am extremely tanked up now with 60% damage reduction. Damage minimal. And now I have no choice but to move, unfortunately. Um, do I want to just go for this Manticore? I think I'm going to do this. That way it'll be... I don't want the Battlemaster to punch me back. And I don't think he'll be able to, because he'll have to move through the forest. And the forest should eat up his movement points. But let's just go for this guy. Oh, God, he's just tanking the damage like a pro. Okay. He did... He didn't even move. He didn't even move. That means he got no evasion at all. He's a sitting duck. Nope. Oh, he's an ace pilot. Oh, interesting. Reaching shot. Okay, good. So now it, it didn't matter. He just botched the shot. Damn, let's do this. Okay, well. I'm going to reserve. Hopefully they take some shots at me. Yes, good. That's who I want them to shoot at. Like, just, just like, ping, ping, 
thing just hanging right off of my armor just like just shower me with these useless projectiles. Look at that, I reduced an AC 5 to 16 damage. Damage minimal. Alright. There's a miss, good. That was a- what an excellent turn of defense for us. That just went super well. I'm super happy about the I'm results here. there. Um, the narc is still active, so I would like to try to get another use of the narc beacon. Oh man, I want to get closer. I want to get closer so bad. Okay, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I really just want to fire at this guy. So I'm going to spend the vigilance. I'm going to I'm going to tank up over here and I just want to make use of the um, the narc beacon again. On it. Showering him with the missiles and we got an SRM explosion. Massive damage on the battlemaster. Big pressure there. Demolisher some damage, but still not accurate enough to really make a difference. Live to serve. That's the way I like to see it, though. Okay, now I've got some choices here. I believe I'm going to go... Okay, I'm going to shoot the... Yes, I'm going to shoot this guy, and then I'm going to use Ace Pilot. The PPC carrier is down. Oh, no. Oh no, they did bring another Lancet! Oh no! That is... I, that was a miscalculation. That was most definitely a miscalculation. Um... Hmm. Hummity hummity hum. The reason that's a problem is because if I suspect that reinforcements are arriving, what I would typically do is try to kill more of the defenders. But... I, I did not think that would happen. Um, I'm just gonna move here. It, the the grasshopper is a little bit vulnerable, but it does have some armor. Oh my god, they've appeared right on our side too. Wow, this is about to get a little bit messy. Um, okay, same thing. We want all of our. Wait, no, no, no. We want it to stay. Wait a second. What 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 targets do I have available to me? I'm receiving you. The reinforcement way. Oh god, they brought another assault mech in, and he's got high ground advantage. Woo! This is going to become a a little bit of a, a an issue. Okay, I think I want to try and destroy another vehicle. This thing has 600 armor. Yeah, let's just take let's get the vehicles yep, destroyed first. That's I think that's a big priority. I'm going to go ahead and go Vigilance, just because like, I have a feeling we're going to get hit pretty hard here. And I am going to go like this, and then split fire onto him, and keep narking him, just to kind of... We don't, I want to get this Battlemaster off the field, if possible. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, that should be the end of him. We are vulnerable to a potential melee attack. That, that could be a really good move by them. Oh man, they brought a, This is gonna be a not happy about this formation of enemies that we're dealing with. I'm going. Okay, we need to get rid of we need to start thinning some of their defenders out. Big damage there, but oh my god, the battlemaster is such a thick mech. That's fine. We're, I mean like our position is okay-ish. And our armor condition is looking pretty good. We might even, maybe we should ignore the Battlemaster as well. Just on the basis that we may have destroyed enough of the Battlemaster's weapons. Oh man, we're going to start taking a beating from these guys. Thankfully, I tanked. Thankful, thankfully, they are attacking the character that is has the maximum amount of defense. That is very, very nice. How much weaponry do you, you still have a decent bit of weaponry left. Oh, this is moving to position. This is not a. This is a very, very much an unfavorable battle for us now. What? Oh, I was hoping we'd get his leg there. Scored a critical hit. 
They Fortunately, the these two mechs are really not that big of a threat. Like, I'm not that... I'm honestly not that worried about them. I need to protect my... There's only one convoy vehicle left. It's annoying to have to waste shots on a stupid... What is your... Okay, he's actually almost down. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Tank up. And I'm just going to finish this guy off. No narc beacon, because it's not necessary. Okay, good. I about to say. The problem is that that is the first of their eight battle mechs down. So, basically, the correct way to do this battle would have been to... Destroy maybe one convoy vehicle, probably the LRM carrier, and then try to destroy the guards. Okay, so as I as I said, these guys here are really not contributing that much. That's fine. That was a wasted. That was kind of a wasted move. Um. Ready for orders. We need some good plays here. I want to destroy that remaining vehicle. I think that's our play right now. Punching all the buttons. Still tanking it because it's just such a heavily armored vehicle. Okay, I can take it. Confirmed. I can't. I need to finish this thing off. This thing has got to go. Like, I've got to. I need to start and causing casualties. We just need to, like. We just need to get some things off the field. Engage, target. Okay, so now we have the option to withdraw if we want to, but I'm going to try to fight it out with them. I'm going to go for it. Okay, good. Another another one was out of position, couldn't do it. Oh my god, a Banshee. Oh man, what version of the Banshee is it is the question. Warning. Armor low. Ow. That shot hit internals. Rear armor hit. Oh, it's on. Okay. They're hitting my right torso really hard. So what version of the Banshee is this? I hope it's the crappy version. Oh, thank God it's the crummy version of the Banshee. That is better news. Okay. Let's see. Where is our extraction if we have to use it? It's over here. So what we might start doing is fighting in this direction. But I'm not... I'm not going to give up uh, on the battle. Let's take a moment to see like what kind of weaponry these guys have. The Centurion is probably worth taking out because it's a it's a it has a lot of fire. It's very it's lightly armored for its firepower. A Highlander, and then okay, so they have three mechs here. Oh no, there's the fourth one there. Another sixty ton mech. Oh, this is just a painful battle. Not happy with the conditions that we're in. I wonder if that's the whole theme of this battle, actually. I wonder if that's the kind of concept that we're not supposed to do that. I'm not sure. Um, I need to face my left side. So I think what I'm going to do is go here. I don't want them to get a rear shot on me, but I also don't want... Yeah, let's move like that. It's a rifleman. Okay, that's a pretty juicy target, actually. Let's go ahead and split fire here and here. Turn the narc beacon on. The rifleman is also out of position. Okay, we narked him successfully. Oh my god, this is like... I gotta make a good play with the grasshopper. I know that's one thing we need to do. Okay, that's fine. Actually, we might have an ambush right here. Watch the flank. Oh, he missed! Wow, what a what a what a humongous miss! Try aiming next time. See what you get. Warning. Okay, more scanning. Okay, man, they are making some very very questionable moves here. Waiting Assassin. Is I'm looking for an interesting play to make. 
Um, I think I have a play possibly right here. Maybe. If I... Okay, I'm going to let them command. move next, I think. All right. You are in range. So I'm going to have you move up here. Okay, we need to kind of share up. the damage a little bit. Like, I'm really concentrating at this one. If you guys wanted to see a tougher fight, here you go. Okay. There we go. Let them have it. I, I need them to kind of, like, get off the Warhammer a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Just attack some of these other mechs. I want them to kind of, like... Armor damage is fine. Just share a little bit of that armor I damage is done. kind of what I want right now. Right now, the Highlander is kind of the it at the moment. Right side is pretty beat up, so let's kind of go like this. I don't want my... I don't want him to get, like, a lucky rear shot on me, though, Onward. so let's not go all out. Okay, here we go again. Do I go for the precision strike? I, I think we need to play a little more safely. Oh! Oh, my God! Beautiful shot on the Highlander. I that shot. I, I want to see what weaponry we did. What, what did we disable on him? Okay, he just lost his LRM. I was kind of hoping we'd get the AC, but... No, not... Didn't get that. Okay. So what we're going to do is go for a rear attack here. I don't think I can make a rear melee attack. Yeah, I can't do that. But the Grasshopper has so much regular firepower that I'm... And what I'm, I'm going to use Vigilance, not because it's going to tank him up very much, but because he's going to be able to move earlier in the turn, meaning they won't be able to take advantage of him being out of position. Okay, and we're just going to open up with everything we've got here. Okay, we're through his rear armor, but I don't know where. What are you going to do? Okay, that's fine. Sharing some damage. Next turn, he'll be able to get into the woods. What kind? I want to. I want. I need a damage report. Okay, the other side of my mech is still okay. Oh boy, you wanted to see a battle. You get to see a. You wanted to see a fight. You get to see a fight. Okay, I believe we have a kill shot here. High risk maneuver, but we're going for it. The kill shot. Okay, there we go. Like I said, like we need to make moves with the grasshopper. We brought the grasshopper along for this specific purpose, and we need to make some plays with it. And now I either can jump... Can I jump without overheating is one of my questions. Kind of. I'm probably going to take a bit of a beating no matter where I go, but it's probably also still worth it. Let's just move right here. Acknowledge, Commander. So the ace pilot allowed us to make the shot because we were already in the perfect position. I've been sensor locked. What a weird play. He oh, yeah, was he overheating? Okay, we could get even closer now. On it. All right, able to actually make deeper a deeper wound into him. Oh yeah, I know we did some. Oh, did I knock him down? Score the critical hit. Oh, not quite. Wolverine doesn't have the. Although he does, he's in a good position, he doesn't have the firepower to get through the grasshopper, so that's still fine. Raining attacks on us from a, another Black Knight. Marauder's starting to show a lot of wear and tear. Ready for orders. I probably need to get in here as well, don't I? I'm ready. Um, what side of this? It's his left side? Okay, let's... Oh, I really don't want to turn my back that much to the enemy. Let's knock this guy down, though. Primitive. Okay. I don't know how good the contact on those PPCs were. The angle seemed a little weird.
What was that? Like something... Oh, it's the Rifleman. That mech needs to go. He's such a low armor target. He really needs to go. Um... Okay, I think I need to make a, a move here. What side of me is better? Left side. Okay, let's go like this. I'm going to try to finish off the... Um, I don't know if I'm in range for it, but I, I have extremely high accuracy. That's one of my character's like, main things. Is I'm really... I'm very accurate. So I do have a realistic chance of actually coring out the, the Highlander right here if both of the large lasers hit. Let's see. We got him, boys. Oh, my God. The battle is swinging. Oh, my God. Right, the Banshee, what are you gonna- are you seriously gonna go into- are you gonna overheat? Oh, okay, he, he's pacing himself. I thought he was about to overheat there. Okay, I'm gonna get in here so I can do- okay, what side do I need to show? Left side? Because I need to trash this, like... This Rifleman. Oh, good, and he, he isn't a pilot that specialized. Okay, I'm just going to let this guy have it, and I'm also going to tank up, because I'm pretty sure they're going to focus on me again, just because I'm so close to him. All right. The Rifleman is next. The Grasshopper... Basically, the strategy is I am hoping that the Grasshopper is going to basically mop up the other lance. Which I know is a bit of a tall order, but at the same time... Okay, there's a rear attack. Fortunately, we are a heavy mech, so even our rear armor is... ...picked by the standards of a heavier mech. Oh, good, he missed with the PPC. Oh, man, letting me have it with those lasers. That mech does a lot of damage. And it's his preferred battlefield, given that it's a, it's a cold climate. Okay, Assassin, can you do something for me again? Um... I really, you really need to sink some heat, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna let you sink some heat here. I'm just gonna, let's just do a rear attack. I'm on him. There we go. Okay, I mean, it's like, not, a, a, not the most stellar of attacks, but it's good enough. Stop bullying my Marauder. Heavy fire. Yep, I, I can see it. Commander. Um, get in here and blast this fool. I've, I've had all I can take of him. In fact, actually, get a little closer. I would like it to share some of this damage. Okay, we're going to have to sink our heat next turn, but... There we go. Missiles are pounding oh, through the armor. Like, at least that combo that we're doing is Andy. actually like paying off in that regard. Um, all every side of the mech is just taking an absolute beating right now. Um, let's see which side is less beat up. Right side is a little less beat up. So let's just go like this, I guess. Um, I'm gonna just open up on him. We should get a not- Oh! Oh my god, we just got a- I did not think he would core in there. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are like, actually, you guys- Oh! He's taking a pounding. Armor breach. Oh my god. Like, you guys are like, legitimately like- It's like- it's like you guys know it's a huge fight, and you guys are actually fighting it out. It's like... A color be impressed. Okay. I need to start making some plays here, so I am actually going to go into melee combat with... With the Banshee, and I'm going to knock its guard out. Engaging physical attack. And then I get to follow up, but this won't do that much damage. Just because his, ta his armor, his defense stays up. Okay. Fortunately, being a master pilot, he's hard to hit. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Oh, boy. 
side hit on me, but my uh, my defenses are still up, so that's fine. The Black Knight, what are you now going it's to my do? Turn. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh god. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so Johnny Syme is going to have to, like, use Vigilance pretty much. Oh, He just made a potentially deadly mistake. Receiving you. Interesting choice we have here. I, I need to sink some heat, so I'm going to go for another melee attack. Coordinates received. There we go. Yes, Commander. Okay, what side is you so banged up? Right side? Okay, so you pretty much have no choice but to show left side now. Like this, and you have to tank up every single turn now. You're going to use a coolant vent. And you are going to knock this. You need to knock him over. He, he's got to fall over. Yeah, he's got I I think we have enough to do it. But I'm not sure. Oh, let's just take a natural shot. Firing all weapons. It wasn't quite enough. Darn, I thought we would well, knock him over. On but he's still taking an absolute yep. pounding right now. Where did that other mech go? What is your condition? Your right arm is really banged up? Okay, that's fine. Now, fortunately, our grasshopper has sank its heat. We are running out of machine gun ammo, though. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of everything going on. You know what? I might just do something absolutely... Nah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that's kind of a high-risk maneuver. A super... That's a super extra high-risk maneuver. I was thinking about Locate doing a death from above attack, which is where the mech basically, like, jumps up and attempts to land on the other mech, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, let's just fire everything. Here we go. Okay, good. We still got through his arm. Like... We've got Assassin here, basically, like, single-handedly holding the lance off. Damage is light. Hey, let's slip the dogs of war. Okay, you have to take up every turn, as I said. Like, there is no option here. Like, you're just so severely damaged that we have to do it. So just keep... Oh my god, I kind of want to... No. Okay, okay, I think we're going to take his leg here. Here it comes. Just because of the, the angle of the mech. Okay, yeah, he, he fell down. Okay. Reporting critical hit. This mech is currently shut down because, as you can see, it's just, like, bursting into flames, practically. And he's going to lose a turn due to shutdown. He'll sink 100% of his heat. But he, he has to skip this turn, basically. Ow. Oh, no. Ow. Someone might call this trouble. Yeah. Yep, stop it. Oh, good, good. Yeah, shoot at the grasshopper. The grasshopper still has, like, many bars of armor. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay. I'm going for it. I, I want to make a... Try to make a... Oh, crap. I don't have the correct angle. Okay, instead, I'm just going to go for... This. I just want to core this mech out. He just he just has to go. He just needs to be dead. I'm just going to throw everything I've got on him, and I'm going to narc him. And I'm going to hope that we can just kind of, like, basically take him to pound town. Everything, even the large laser, just everything while he's on the ground. Oh! He survived. He can't he can't have much left though. He's got to be in horrendous shape. Okay, he's got 42 structure left. Okay. I really need you to finish this guy off. I really really need it. His rear armor is pretty banged up. I do think it's possible. Okay, I'm going to make the jump and I'm going to try to knock this mech out. With a precision strike on the rear center torso. Firing. Okay, that's the end of him. 
target down. Grasshopper cutting these mechs down. What is he gonna do? He's back on his feet. This is his chance to make a big play. Well, maybe not a big play, but a play. Made a not. I, I would have got for a melee attack personally, but. Go time. Johnny Syme. Still in the hot seat, just taking an absolute brutal beating. I might have him actually withdraw. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have him start making a break for it, to be honest. What side of his armor is beat up? Left side? Oh, it's so sad. I'm so sad. But even the left side is better than the right side, even though the armor is breached there. I think I'm just going to have him like head towards the extraction, because like I, I think he's done enough. Too late into the battle to make too much of a difference. Okay, so they're through the Warhammer's armor somewhere. They destroyed my narc ammo. Well, it's not a big deal. We we it's just the ammo, it's not the narc itself. Let's do this. Um Wow. What a weird thing to happen. They, everyone's over there now. Um okay, hold on a second. So it's my leg. Oh my god, my leg only has one on structure now. left. Eek! Um Can you finish this guy off, please? Is that is that something that's possible? Yeah, just move like that. I would just I just want you to finish this guy off. I want you it's so bad. Just shoot him. I don't get precision strike and everything. Just I want this guy gone. Just do it. Do it for me, please. Take him out. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's gone. Oh my God, he's gone. Okay. So the l right side of my mech is, like, really heavily damaged right now. And I need to back up, basically. That's all that means, is I need to back up like this. And I'm just going to take a natural shot at this guy. So fortunately, it was not the actual... It wasn't the narc beacon. The narc beacon itself was not... That would be annoying, because that's like a lost Come tech on. item. I would be super sad if that happened. We have a rear shot here. I think I will take it, too. Affirmative. With the medium lasers Firing. at that. Ooh, man. Medium, do not underestimate the medium laser. It, it's like... Critical hit. Stop it. Warning. Armor breached. Waiting for Internal orders. damage. I am going to reserve. I really don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. What's the Black Knight going to do? Ow! Oh god, he's through my... Damn it! Which which laser, large laser did I lose? And he... This guy's a madman! He's just constantly alpha striking into being... Oh, thank god. the che It was the cheap... No, they destroyed my... Standing by. Now you've, now you've done it. You've angered me. I, I need to tilt just enough to... I can't even use the Dark Beacon. Damn it! Um, I can't let him see my right leg. Yeah, there we go. No, I can't, I can't shoot my small lasers. There we go. Right here. Destroy him! He's shut down. So while he's shut down, we are uh, we're allowed to take precision shots at him. Oh, thank God he didn't destroy, like, the highly advanced large laser that we had. That That is actually not bad news. Um, I'm going to walk up right behind this guy and try to knock him out with a precision strike. All wet. Go. Oh, my God! It was enough! What? Oh, my God! Orders? Um... I think I'm going to go for just a melee attack. Actually, no. I'll go for a melee attack next turn. I'm just going to go straight in front of him and just, like, direct head-on to center torso. How do you like that? Critical hit, Commander. Commander? In fact, I, e even you're going to come back, because he has to skip next turn. Confirmed. Knock him over. Confirmed. 
Is he going down? Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh my god, he's going down. Oh, I'm so sad about the narc beacon. I, I think I might have a second oh, narc beacon. Because I, I always buy all the lost tech that I find. You have to skip your turn for overheating. Yep. And now I'm just going to just pound the daylight. I, I'm just... He has to he has to pay for like destroying my narc beacon. Engaging physical attack. How dare you destroy my narc beacon? I don't care about the laser. I have plenty of large lasers. I'm receiving you. Destroy him. Moving to position. Destroy him. Locking in all weapons. Okay, we got him. Wow, so we did it. With our lance, we just destroyed. Not only were we outweighted. By the, we were massively outweighted by the second lance, which deployed what two assault mechs, and then a, a, a seventy-five ton heavy mech and the rifleman, and then they had, so we we just fought three assault mechs plus their vehicles. Well done. You managed to wipe out the op four out. I can do an extract right now. Good job, Fox. Again, now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go make sure that Hiranaka pays us whatever he owes. And if he doesn't, I will personally shove one of Yang's impact wrenches down his throat. There will be no need, Mr. Oliviera. Join me in a secure channel and we'll discuss your payment. Mission success. Oh my god, that was a tough fight. That was a tough one. That was the first actually tough fight. Okay, and here is the kill board. Everyone did what they needed to do. The incredible MVP, though, was definitely Assassin managing to utilize the Grasshopper to its full, ex full extent and basically wipe out the remaining Lance in the beginning, allowing the rest of us... Basically, he was able to single-handedly hold off the enemy Lance and contend to defeat them ultimately so that the other three of us were able to go three versus four against their assault, like their hybrid assault lance that came in. The good news is that, oh my god, this is the most important thing. We saved... It, these are not easy to find, these snub-nosed PPCs. I, I, it's like... The Narc Beacon... Wait, the Narc Beacon lived! The Narc Beacon... Oh, okay, that, that means nothing. It's like... Nothing bad even happened. The, the, I have plenty of narc ammo. Okay, it was just red because it was telling me it was out of ammo. Oh my god, I was so worried that I would lose the snub nose PPC. Those are not easy to find. Like it, it would have the losing the snub nose PPC would have greatly reduced the effectiveness of our Marauder. I would have had to like potentially just redesign it altogether. Oh my god, no, you guys actually like you guys actually kicked ass there. And here's the salvage. I do not want the Banshee. That Banshee sucks. I do want the Black Knight though. I want a piece of the Black Knight and I want a piece of the Highlander. Although, let's see, are there any rare weapons? I don't think... Oh, no, I... Okay, I, I have to go with it. The, those LRM-20s are simply too good to pass up. Oh, my God, there's so many good things here. I, I have to take... The, these LRM-20s look amazing. Stability damage and 25% crit. That is amazing. I, I have to take them. Unfortunately, we didn't get any mech pieces, but... Ugh, whatever, I guess I can find more. The Defector Part 3, High Orbit over Ismer. Your task has been com completed to House Karita's satisfaction, Mr. Oliviera. It would seem that Shugo Yamaguchi's assessment of GGF's unpaid losers was correct after all. Congratulations. You seem upset, Chui Hiranaka, but you couldn't possibly be angry that we completed Shugo Yamaguchi's task and killed the Defector, could you? Of course, if we had failed to kill Okada, you could have taken a crack at the job yourself, maybe earned yourself a promotion. Perhaps, but it seems pointless to discuss such matters now. The job is done, and you mercenaries will reap the rewards. If I had gotten my way, you'd have lost a hell of a lot more than a promotion, pal. By the way, you're an asshole, just putting that out there. Seconded, you know, for posterity. What a charming company of assembled fox, models of professional decorum. You have your pay, and our business is done, and if you are wise, you will stay out of my affairs in the future. Hiranaka, out. The Karitan soldier's image disappears from your view screen. You can almost taste his rage as his image flickers and dies. You know, for the record, Commander, you know, for the record, the Commander made the right decision back there. If we'd sent battle mechs after Hiranaka, we'd have been picking a fight with House Karita. We don't need that kind of heat. You're damn right we don't. Our reputation is worth more than that, Yang. 
Okay, boss. Okay, I get it. Just had to speak my piece. Anyway, he's gone now. Problem solved. Better yet, we got paid, and that's always a reason to celebrate. I'm going to pop open a Quiller Fizz in the company mess if anyone wants, would like to join me or indulge in something stronger. Perhaps you're more than welcome. We just won, so let's act like it. Okay, let's... And here are our rewards, our Lost Tech item. Let's see what we get. We got... A piece of the Atlas D. That actually is some legit lost tech there. That is, the Atlas D is the Star League version of the, uh, I believe it is the Star League version of the Atlas. It's basically, the. I mean, like, unfortunately, if we were to rebuild it, it wouldn't come with its complement of Star League weaponry, which is part of what would make it as good as it would be. But still... The Atlas D is rather challenging to come by. Oh my god, we got a large pulse laser, and, and, and it's an enhanced large pulse laser. Not only is it a Lost Tech item, but it's a plus one, an enhanced Lost Tech large pulse laser. That is actually... Su we got a highly advanced gyro. We got a mid-tier, a, a really good PPC, actually. 30 extra stability damage. That's actually impactful. We got a really good arm mod with 40 extra damage, so like a uh, melee attack would do 40 more damage. That's super good. Uh, another melee mod that's plus 15 damage, also pretty... Wow. <laughs> they weren't joking. Like, the uh, the payout was actually pretty good. That, that... The large pulse laser alone, and the Atlas D... I would have taken the Atlas D and the large pulse laser on its own. That's not bad. And our... Our reputation with the combine should be maxed out. Oh man, I gotta take a, a drink of Mountain Dew after that battle, though. That that one there actually, like you you can tell when the battle gets serious if I can't come up with any jokes or anything silly to say because like that battle there, I actually just had to like play the game there. <laughs> that was a tough fight. Anyways, we managed to do it though without running away. Like I, there was a moment where I thought I was actually just gonna like make a run for it, try to just take what we had and leave. But fortunately, we, we basically got everything we wanted. We got, we salvaged a assault mech from the first one. And although we took damage, we lo we fortunately lost the, the low-tech large laser. I'm just, I'll just slap another one on. We got a ton of those. We didn't lose the Narc Beacon or the snub Nose PPC. And everyone just performed to the maximum of, of what I could have hoped for a battle like that. Anyways, excellent work. Unpaid losers until next time. Like this video if it was entertaining. Leave a comment down below if you were unsure how the battle was going to go. And of course, remember. So yeah, subscribe for more Battletech DLC content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.